Hello everybody. As psychic mediums, we need to develop a thick skin to be able to cope with all these problems and not to be affected by them. Today, I would like to mention something about on a more personal level. You know, when we register our businesses as psychic mediums, for tax purposes, for any other legal reasons, you check the drop-down menu. Of course, there is no such thing. You need to register as an entertainer or somebody doing some arts and crafts, perhaps. And not every career path goes through university. And we know it. So let's say sometimes I meet a new person and he or she goes, Oh, Dennis, I realize you're a psychic medium. Is this something you do as a hobby? Or is this something you do on the side and you have another daytime job? And I go, no, that's my full-time job. And it has been the case for many years. I think what I'm referring to is quite um, relatable to many of my uh, psychic fellows and even some other people. When you ask such, such questions, please be considerate about the other party because it might imply that his or her job is not good enough. So, oh, psychic medium, that's not good enough. That must mean you need another job. Um, it's not very nice. So perhaps the person doesn't realize that, but it doesn't come across as a very good thing. We all have different career paths. Some we learn on the job, some we learn through study or both. And myself, I'm still studying at my age. Uh, I believe in studies and it's good. But I don't have any right to say that, oh, your job is not good enough. So is this your hobby? <laughs> oh, do you really make a living out of this? Is it enough? So those are not okay and not very nice. Perhaps our generation had to put up with this, but the next generation won't. Be assured of that. <laughs> because um, probably after COVID and with all this technology changing, most of us will be working online from home. The career parts will change and it's better to adapt now.